Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Katie, and today I'm doing another monthly TBR, and that means we're bringing the TBR prompt chart back, and I am so excited for doing this again. I had an absolutely amazing time doing it last month, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I think I'm going to pick eight prompts because I was originally going to do ten, but I do have a couple of video ideas or video vlogs that I want to do, so I want to leave room for those books. I added, I think, 50 more prompts, so it looks a lot more full this time than last month. And I did put some of the ones from last month back in the jar just because they were ones that were kind of more broad and I could definitely use them again, so I put them back in. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you guys enjoy it, and let's just get right into picking the prompts. Let's mix them up a little bit because I did add a lot of prompts this past week. Book that starts with the letter S. That is so specific. Okay, let me go look. Honestly, this prompt is quite hard because there are a couple that I have, but a couple of them are summer romance books, and then the other one is a wintry thriller book that I want to save for December or January. The only one I can see that isn't for another reading vlog in the future is Small Favors by Erin A. Craig, but I don't know if I want to read that one right now. Like, I'm very excited to read it, but I feel like now is not the month. Oh wait, I did bring a book home, or back here from home. I'm gonna go get that. I'm going to be picking Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. I have read this book twice already. <laughs> this series is a quartet and I've read the first three books. I've never read the fourth one, but I really wanted to reread them in the seasons they take place in because this one is fall. I don't typically read middle grade at all, but this one is such a fun read and I really love this series and I do have these personalized to me, which is super cool. It says to Caitlin, avoid large places at night. So yeah, I'm very excited to reread this. One. It's a very short book, so I could get through it pretty quickly. Prompt number two, a book with real people on the cover. So what I mean by real people, I just mean not like the illustrated covers. I didn't really know how else to word it, but it's just like, I know some people really do not like real life people on the covers, but I like them. So I'm going to go look and see what book I can pick for this one. I was thinking of picking The Hunger by Alma Katsu, which is a horror book, but I realized this is actually like an illustrated book cover still even though it looks like a real person so I need to go back and look for a different one. At this point I think I'm gonna have to pick a romance book because most of the fantasy books even if they look like real people it's still illustrated it's not like photography. I guess that's the way I should have put it like a photograph of people on the cover. Whatever I, I hope I explained it okay. The book that I've been in the middle of for quite some time is Give Me More by Sarah Kate which is the third book in the Salacious Players Club series and I got to page 32 of this and I was really enjoying it. I adore this series. I loved book one. Book two is really great. I definitely love book one more just because it has like my favorite tropes. I need to continue this series because I'm pretty sure the last book is coming out or it did just come out. So I'm gonna add this one to my TBR. Now for the third prompt. So it says a book where the characters aren't human. So this can mean they are fae, werewolves, vampires, anything like that. This is a really fun prompt. This is so much more fun than just like picking out books from your TBR. I love it. I think I know what book I'm going to pick because I meant to read it last month, but I bought it at the end of the month so I couldn't have read it. So I think I'm going to do that one. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if this counts. So I was going to do The Witches Back by Sophie H. Morgan because like witch is like magical, but they're still human, I think. I'm not too sure because I bought this because I wanted to read it around Halloween and I just never got around to it, but... I really don't know if this counts. Guys, I wrote these prompts and I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with them. I'm not sure. Or I could start my reread of To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. This is one of the main characters is a siren. So she does have magical abilities, but they're also like human when they're on land. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Since it's my prompts, I might just like tweak the rules a little bit. I might just change it where it's like the main character has some type of like magical powers or abilities. So I think I'm just going to pick The Witches Back because I've been really wanting to read this and it's the perfect month for it. I mean, October was the perfect month for it, but I just did not have time. I was in a reading slump for about like half the month. So, but I still will do a wrap up because the books I did read were really great. I think I'm going to pick this one because I don't think I'll read it if I don't read it this month for a while. So I'm going to pick this. And I mean, she's a witch, so she has magical abilities. We're going to count this one. Now for prompt number four. A book that starts with a T. Apparently we're just gonna spell the whole alphabet with book titles this month. I'm gonna go see which books I have for this one. For this prompt, and I promise I didn't put a bunch of letters, I only did like five letter prompts and somehow I'm picking all of them right now, but I'm gonna pick The Deal by L. Kennedy because I'm actually currently reading that book. I did start it on November 1st because I'm filming this a couple days late unfortunately, but 
I'm gonna do the deal. This is a college hockey romance and I'm really loving it so far and I cannot wait to continue it. So I'm just gonna pick that one since I'm already in the middle of it and it just works out perfectly because it starts with a T. Now for book number five, a book from your TBR you meant to read last year. Honestly, every book. <laughs> I mean, I just, the amount of books I buy, there's no way I can physically read them in a year. This prompt could count for any book I just didn't buy this year, which honestly is quite a few. Or it could just be a book that I knew about from last year and I just didn't read. So I went over to my TBR cart and I instantly knew what I was going to pick and that is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. It's a YA gothic fantasy book and I've heard absolutely amazing things about this book and this is the Gorgeous Fairy Loot edition and so I did mean to read it last year, I just never got around to it, but it kind of works out because the second book literally just released this week or last week and one of my coworkers really enjoyed it. So. If I love this first one, I can just go pick up the second book and it just works out perfectly. I'm very excited to be adding this to my TBR. Now for book number five, a fantasy book with a map. I'm going to go look on my TBR card and see which one I want to pick. The book I'm picking is actually one that I recently hauled from Waterstones. It's an exclusive edition and it is absolutely stunning. And that is Fall of Rune Wraith by Jennifer L. Armantrout. And just look at these edges, absolutely stunning. And this one does have a map, and I love how detailed this map is. This is a new adult or adult fantasy romance book, and I'm so excited to read it. And I haven't read any JLA books before, and I need to, desperately. So I don't want to know anything about it before going into it. I just know Sarah J Mass blurbed it, and I'm good to go. Also, sorry if you can hear the lawnmower outside. I am behind on filming this, and the one time I decide to film, they decide to do the lawn. But it's okay, hopefully the camera doesn't pick it up. Now prompt number six. Oh, we have a book with fall vibes. I really don't know if I picked this one last month or not, but I definitely put this one in for October. But it works for November perfectly too, so I'm gonna go see which books I could pick for fall vibes. I did pick a few options from my TBR cart, and mainly they all just look like fall to me on the covers, so that's why I picked them. So the first one is You Again by Kate Goldbeck, and just like look at this cover. Just like fall leaves all over it. And I think this is an enemies to lovers contemporary romance book. And then I have this book, which I always feel like I'm gonna say the title wrong, so I'm just gonna show the cover. And I found a signed copy at Target, which is super exciting. It says it's a gothic horror book on the back, which again, perfect for this time of year, so that's why I included this one. And then I have A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. I absolutely love the writing so much. And this is, I think this is a mystery thriller. And it takes place in the wilderness and it just like seems like fall to me. Any of these could work perfectly, but I did just pick this book up from work. I think I'm gonna pick you again because I just want a contemporary romance book in this list. I don't know, I'm definitely in the romance book mood, so oh wait. I just realized I've been saying the numbers wrong for the amount of books I picked because I picked the deal. And since I don't have it physically here, I was miscounting the entire time when I was saying the books. This is the seventh book pick. I am so sorry about that. I just completely blanked that I picked that book. I think I'm gonna pick this one, but now that I think about that, that means I have another romance book on here. Maybe I should pick this one. I feel like I should just go with my first instinct. I have, I'll have time to read some of these also if I don't pick them. So I think we're just gonna stick with this one since it's the seventh book and not the sixth one. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is the last pick. This is pick number eight. It says a book with illustrated people on the cover. I think I might tweak the last prompt and this prompt just a little bit. Since I want to read two of the three of these books so badly, I think I'm just going to use this one for the illustrated cover and then go with this one that gives fall vibes, history of wild places. And on the back it says, a story about fairy tales, our fear of the dark, and losing yourself in the wilderness of your mind. I feel like just, this just fits fall. I don't know why. We're not going to ask questions. It just seems like it for me. I'm just going to... Switch these two prompts. I really wanted to read both of those, so I'm really glad I was able to get them on the list. And that's all the prompts I'm going to pick from this jar. I have plenty more for the future. These are the books I'm hoping to read in November, including The Deal, which I just don't have currently, but I think this is a really good list with a good variety of genres, and then I'll have the other books to read, so I think it's going to be an amazing reading month, and I cannot wait. I'm out of my little mini reading slump that I was in for a little bit so I'm very excited about that. Definitely let me know what you want to read in November as well in the comments and also if there's any like specific video ideas you'd like to see from me in the coming months please let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you all and I will see you in my next one. Bye!